Yeah, this video right here, it might, it might not have the reaction from me that you think it's gonna have. Roll it. Now this video right here is gonna be slightly different. This is actually a Patreon request and this request for What If I Was Gay by Jordan Lucas featuring Eminem comes from Gonzalo Ortega. Gonzalo, I appreciate you, my guy, for being a Patreon subscriber, especially at the tier that allows you to get a request in. Anybody else that wants to potentially support the channel or support the stream, you can support the YouTube channel directly through Patreon. You do get you do get certain perks and benefits for, for giving some kind of monetary contribution over there. But if you would rather support the channel or you would rather support a stream, if that's kind of more your vibe, or maybe you're an Amazon Prime member who has who has a free subscription to somebody on, on Twitch, consider going over there and following the Twitch. That will be up and running by the time this video is up the twitch will be in the link and it'll be the and it'll be the pinned comment at the top of the comments now this video right here is going to be a little bit different as i was searching for the song what if i was gay it was very hard to find an actual track and as i saw reactors like i looked to see how they were reacting every every single video got blocked from what i know so reactors had to either speed up the video speed up the audio like crazy slow it down like crazy cut it up i didn't want to do any of that so i, I like i'm gonna actually just give you my commentary post listening to it because not only am i not able to react to it i also feel like a song like this especially after having heard it it like it doesn't deserve a traditional reaction it deserves actual commentary on the track now the reason i said what i said at the beginning of the video about me not having the reaction you think i'm gonna have especially considering i'm a fan of joiner and obviously a crazy fan of eminem is i i, I don't like this song and I'm not saying I don't like it because it doesn't sound great, because it because it doesn't have a hook. This this song was obviously written as a brainstorm. It was written and, and it was recorded as just like a demo, just so that way they can try to understand exactly what they had. It was obviously not meant to be released, and there's a reason why it didn't get released. So again, it's not because of the song or the sound or the fact that I can't find it. It has nothing to do with that, and it has everything to do with Eminem and Joyner Lucas coming on and making this song. It's clear that the track had good intention. Obviously, if you hear the song, you listen to it, it, it's trying to it's trying to enlighten you, it's trying to show you into the mind of someone who is a closet gay. And on top of that, it's trying to, especially Eminem's verses, a closet gay, but someone who is openly homophobic, even if they might be gay on the inside. So I'm gonna tell you the reasons why I don't like it. I'm gonna start, bas like, I'm basically gonna go in order. I'm gonna start from like the points of the track that are just like add to me, all the way to the biggest reason why I'm not a fan of the track. One of the first reasons why I'm not like a huge fan of the track is because the track sounds like it's a recycled track from both Joyner and from and from Eminem. I don't know if this song was written before I'm Not a Racist, but on Joyner's, set, on Joyner's side of the coin, this is basically the same exact track as I'm Not a Racist, but with Eminem playing the other part of the homophobic person where Joyner is playing the person, the closeted gay. So it feels like a mashup of I'm Not a Racist and Stan in the way that Eminem had like that last line in Stan where he came to like this revelation like this twist in the story that it was that it was Eminem's fault that that uh, that Stan killed himself and his wife and his and his pregnant girlfriend you know that's 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 something that was crazy at that time but right here it doesn't have that same impact because it feels like it's a recycled version of that ending of that track and the twist also feels like the twist at the end of wet dreams by J Cole off of 2014 Forest Hills Drive and it also feels like a less impactful version of the time to kill Matthew McConaughey's uh, Matthew McConaughey's Matthew McConaughey's closing art argument of his character in the movie a time to kill like that last second twist it, it did the same thing but just didn't have the same impact for me and if you haven't heard the song yet or you don't have any intention of hearing the song let me just give you a rundown of what the song is it's joiner lucas he, he does a decent job at, at pointing out all of the struggles all the mental battles all of the all of the exhaustion that it must be to be someone who's a closeted gay who is in fear of coming out to their friends and family and to their community because they feel like they're going to be reprimanded or they are they might are they might be disowned or what have you for being gay it's just that constant internal mental crisis that that they go through every single day and joiner does a decent job at making sure he's hitting all the topics like what if i told you i was brave for having to deal with this every day what if i told you it's not a choice like would you still love me in the way that you do if i told you i was gay and then eminem comes on in the last verse which is double the length basically it's like two verses in one and eminem plays the part of a, of a character who is homophobic who is deeply homophobic on the outside like saying that like i'll, I'll forgive 
forgive you, if you repent to God for your sins, if, if you if you try to fix the choice that you've made, I'll forgive you. And it's just obviously like very homophobic thought process. And then at the very end, Eminem's like, what if I told you that I was misguided? What if I told you I had this, I had these feelings and emotions of anger and hate toward toward gays. And I was, and I was projecting that emotionally because I am gay on the inside. And I don't feel I have that. I don't have that. I don't have that courage to come out as a gay person. So I like, I mask it by being ultra on the other end of the spectrum as a, as a gay homophobic man. And M's portion, specifically the first half, the, homo, the homophobic half, is supposed to give validity toward Jordan Lucas's portion as to why he's feeling these internal struggles because of the people who think in the way that Eminem's character did on the first half of his verse. First off, the lyrics for both of them are both very blah, only because like they're talking about they're talking about mental they're talking about mental struggles that neither one of them has ever had to face because neither one of them is gay, at least from what I know. But actually, like down to the lyrics, Eminem and personally, I. I don't think he should have even tried to use i say this all the time and this, that's one of the things that confused me about the song with eminem being one of the like it personally one of the greatest lyricists of all time most great lyricists know when to put away the similes and metaphors because they're trying to get a very important message through in the song so so not only should it not have any kind of syllables or met or similes and metaphors the similes and metaphors that he used were just not good the mix feeling like logic because logic is half black half white and then the sofa sectional it just it completely took me out of the verse because the type of verse that it is doesn't need that it shouldn't even have it because we're trying to be as straightforward as possible and get this very important message out you know now having said all of that the biggest reason the main reason why i'm not a fan of the song and on top of that the main reason why i think it didn't get released why it got cut or canceled by the record label or maybe both of them were just like yo this is probably not a great song to put out is because th this conversation does not belong to joiner lucas or eminem it's not their conversation conversation to have because they both at least from what I know about both of them are not gay and not only are they not gay Eminem has had a storied history with having homophobic lyrics in his in his songs and, and I and I give credit where credit is due always I do know I'm smart enough obviously to realize that he might not have been a homophobic person back in the day I think that he was using homophobic slurs and talking about gay people and talking shit about kids and and Columbine and like all the different things that he did in Marshall Mathers LP all the things that he did in Eminem show like I understand that they are for the bigger picture of censorship he probably was not homophobic he was just saying homophobic things and he was saying things for shock value because it because it played to the overall it played to the overall story of, of everybody trying to censor him it's one of those like you're trying to censor me so I'm just gonna say that most outlandish shit possible so that way you know that you don't have that capability so while I get the overall fuck you you can't censor me type mentality I'm gonna say the most outlandish shit I'm gonna offend everybody possible the gays backstreet boys in sync britney spears christina aguilera all these notor like these people with notoriety i'm obviously just saying this shit for shock value it just it, it deflates it deflates his verse in this track because of that storied history with with homophobic lyrics even if he wasn't a homophobe overall like i said the main reason why i don't like it is because it's just it's just not their conversation to have they do their best to get their point across it just doesn't have that same impact because since they've never been through it there's they're they're like right Riding that fine line between between are they trying to help the gay community with this track or are they using the gay community for the tracks so that way it gets clicks and views and and for the shock value and the potential impact for them both saying that they're gay on the song you know and that might not have ever been their intention but that's the way that it potentially comes across and I'm sure that's the reason why the song was never released but that's all for my commentary if you have a certain type of view on the song or your view differs or maybe you have the same type of view but for a different reason leave it in the comments below obviously this is not a normal type of reaction but if you're into the reactions long-term commentary breakdowns that kind of thing click the subscribe button but other than that obviously follow instagram twitter discord like i said at the beginning if you want to support the channel do it through do it through patreon if you want to support the stream you can do it through twitch all of these links are going to be in the description below but that brings us to the very end of the video ladies and gentlemen like i always say at the end of all of my videos go out there in the world love and care for one another love and care for each other and i'll catch everybody in the next video Peace.